Hi guys, I'm actually going to take you through how to add EVM chain to Wallet Core. Before we get started, let's talk about EVM. So um, EVM is actually an Ethereum virtual machine or known popularly known as EVM, which is a piece of software that executes smart contracts and computes the state of Ethereum network after each block is added to the chain. Now EVM normally sits on the top of Ethereum's hardware and node network layer and there are actually several compatible blockchains for EVM. So we have Binance Smart Chain, we have Fatom, we have Polygon, we have Avalanche, we also have Turn and uh, yes of course we also have Solana blockchain network which is actually EVM compatible as well. So in this video, I'm actually going to take you through how to add EVM compatible chain to Wallet Core. Wallet Core now has over 90 blockchains to the library. We'd love to see more. We obviously want to see more EVM chains added to the Wallet Core by our community. So it's a way for you to contribute to the library. So watch out for our upcoming campaigns. We're actually going to be reaching out to our developer community to actually add more EVM chains to wallet core so you can even get started after watching this video that would be pretty awesome so um let's get right into it so first thing you're actually going to do is to make sure you have built wallet core on your computer so if you haven't built wallet core on your computer please head straight to this uh, video on trust wallet youtube and watch this video build trust wallet core on c plus and higher so you can watch that video to actually learn how to build wallet core so after you have built wallet core then you go right into it too or if you have uh, you've actually built wallet core on your system already so you just have to make sure it's up to date so say for example you go to your GitHub page so here is my wallet core uh project forked or uh, on my personal GitHub page uh, repository so you can actually do the same thing and add straight to wallet core if you haven't forked the project you can actually fork the project follow the process and actually build so once you have the project on your on your repository then make sure if you have it existing and you just want to make sure that it's up to date so if it's if not up to date make sure you see you can see that my project is not up to date this branch is 16 are uh, you know commit behind from the trust wallet master so obviously i want to make sure that this is updated so i'll actually come to sync fork and actually make sure that i sync with the master so i just want to update these and you know make sure that my wallet core is actually up to date you can see the branch is up to date with wallet core you can see after i actually click on it you see the branch is up to date with wallet core so after that then you can head straight to your uh, terminal to actually start you know writing the commands and making sure everything is working fine for your local machine or your computer so here is my uh terminal i write into it so i actually you can see terminal in my screen and you can check where i've actually navigated to where my wallet core project is you can actually check that by you know typing pwd and seeing that my project is in you know my folder of you know uh document wallet core and that's where my project is so obviously i want to check what the ls to check the list of your project so you can see my project are here so i want to check the status of my project so the next step i actually want to do now is to check and confirm that my project at sync with my you know with my project on gtop that's to check my upstream so i actually first do git init to re-naturalize my project to the gtop repository then after doing that then i want to actually check my status which is status to actually see what's going on uh it's actually up to date so i actually want to check my you know my uh, upstream to see if everything goes well so git remote minus v so yeah pretty much good so i want to pull project for my uh you know for for my uh uh for my repository uh on gtop to make sure everything is actually sync with my the one on my computer so git pull is the command 
so you can see right now i'm pulling i'm pulling and i can just see i've pulled all represent the new changes that actually be made for my github responsive for so you have to make sure that everything is up to date so that when you actually finish adding your uh you know your blockchain then you want to create a, a put you know a pr a pull request or you know to the master brand obviously so so that you now have complications so after making sure our project is up to date we run the build we run the test and we make sure that our project is up to date and also our test is perfectly fine so welcome back the next step is actually to add the evm chain to wallet core so we're actually going to be following uh our documentation page we're actually going to be following this page to see the steps we're actually going to take in actually getting this done so it's actually simple text just follow up through and we're actually going to you know see how amazing this is, looks like so the first thing you can see the prerequisite needed uh you know your chain id you have to have a chain id your chain id has to be unique you can see for example you have to have the derivation part the evm chains you know the name the key the con id and the chain id and all that acts to be available for you to get started so then we can get started you can see our project workspace is up to date we can get started now so the next thing for us to do is to head straight to the registry.json so we have to go to our json files to actually copy duplicate duplicate a you know a template of what the ethereum evm chain have been actually been built with we can use that same format to actually you know create our own chains you know using our own coin id coin name and all that so let's head straight to our visual studio and these are visual studio by clicking a new window so this is a new window navigate to the file you're actually working on mine is on on my document and i open it while i call yes yeah, so this is this is what i'm working on and you can actually do the same thing to check your your registry files so here's my registry files and i'm going to navigate straight up to our uh, ethereum and copy ethereum template and we are going to use it during the way to create our own version or new chain which we're actually going to work on so you can actually check this out this is ethereum we are going to copy our ethereum now from here we copy it down to this point to this point yeah yep so we copy from here to here so we copy this then we press enter and paste it here so we're actually going to change our name or our chain to new chain that's new chain and we have new chain or the id has to be in small letter small caps don't forget then we have the name the name which is new chain then we have the coin hand id which we're actually going to use one thousand five six seven eight yes yeah, so that's our coin id let's also mean that's it then we have the you know the symbol as n uh, ch that's new chain the ethereum or other parts can remain the same or if you're you know you're creating a new evm chain and if they have these you can actually get it done so say for example i have my url here it will be new chain dot hog then you can also change this to new chain yeah you can also go to ethereum and change it to let's say that's uh, the url url for it and let's just remain everything remains the same here so yes we complete that test we have a chain id are uh, you know as 105678 then we are going to go straight and run this code to generate our new chain so this will generate a template source files where we will only find the tw coin type dot a h, uh, dot h file and see our new line of code being there and also our test chain as uh, cpp and see the two things so we're actually going to check see all those things once we run this code the changes is going to signify in our in our files here so let's run the code now let's go let's head straight here 
we run the code so we're going to change this to new chain that means the name of the chain you are actually creating so our name is our home chain is new chain so don't forget that then you click enter so you can see new files have actually been uploaded to uh you know to that we have the coin type new coin type has actually been created inside uh the file so let's go to let's go back here let's come here as you can see the changes are here in include and also in our test file on that change so let's navigate first to our include so when you click on include you come down and you see it's here the change have been made here in the coin type if you come back here you see that uh, you know the coin type new chain has been created to five six seven eight this is that code generated all this code and you could then eat in our uh, coin type dot each so you can also you know uh, let's check the other one on our test file on our test then you go to new chain then you scroll down you see that new chain folder has been created so the new chain folder has been created and if you click on it you will see that we have some files uh you know that actually generated for our new chain that we had in a new evm chain which has been created as well so it looks like we are on the right path so maybe one other thing we need to do is to actually check uh, also check how uh, you know to create a case for what we're actually building so you can check on that test then we can go to uh, uh common on that common then we can navigate to coin address derivation test yes so this is this is it so this next step the result we have we've seen both result of what i show you through now coin type.sh and the other test dot ccp has actually been changes that made created those files for us so there are some text cases derivation for all coins which is what we are working on now test slash common slash coin address derivations test dot ccp dot cpp that's plus plus then we can also just add back straight to here that's it this is the part i have you can see from the test to common from common to you know coin address derivation and we are going to create a case uh for uh you can copy ethereum you can copy ethereum case this is what we've been using they're all the same case once we're even writing in or generating it to actually just come up that we are actually creating a case for it so we can type new chain you can see it's suggesting it already just click on it and you see this looks good so it looks like we are on the right path now for the next step yeah looks great so the next thing we actually want to do now is to you know uh we run our build test make our project and you know confirm that all what we have been doing is going on well so let's get it so it looks like we, that's all but let's run and see what we are doing if it's going on well so yeah let's run this code and build so we're actually building the same thing you can also build via the you know the command if you're building here you can also come to here and actually make your project you can make your project here debug it first once you finish debugging click on build and run the test and see how everything looks good so let's see how it's going here so we can actually build from here or um, build from here so once changes I'll, I'll actually tell us something once each changes is made i can go to our building under developer you know the trustwallet.com go to building under wallet core you can actually check that uh, after each changes they say this script changes may after each year uh, needs to be run whenever registry has actually been you know been maybe changed something if house have changed in our registry so we are going to run this now so once we run this then we can check our test after that then we can check our test and see if it looks all good 
so you can see looks like our text is going on for what we have just done if everything works great on our on our terminal then we can also try it in our virtual code so this is running fine and we can also see building is going test is going 62 percent here on our uh, virtual code so whatever id you're using i'm using virtual code and my building is still running here uh, as you can see my stamina test is actually running if everything looks great that means obviously we just made it here so let's wait until it finish running yeah amazing so that's it sounds great it looks like we just completed running this successfully we just added a new evm chain successfully i mean that's really amazing so if you get to this point a big shout out to you we just added a new evm machine successfully all our test is has been passed so you can actually confirm that there are really changes have been made to our files by using jit status to confirm that changes have been made as you can see our uh, changes have been made to our registry which is the first one we worked on where we added our evm chain and uh, you know in format of ethereum and we just added our own new chain there we also modify when we actually run that command the added new files you can see the t trust wallet coin type dot h files have been modified the registry has been modified and also the common diversion path has also been modified so you can see that all this was modified and new chains were also created here and still all our you know test is successful so as you can see everything looks good so if you need to add all these changes uh to uh, our gtor repository all you just need is to run the command git hard dot and you know and put everything to and commit everything to the gtor repository which we are actually been working on which is here and put an update once you had all the commit then you can you know you can push it to this uh, your fork page once we put it to the fork page, then you can create a uh, a pull request which is actually good which is next thing you create since your stuff worked all your text has been passed then you just need to create a pull request and you are really good to go once changes have appear here you can create a pull request from you know to the origin master and our engineers we check and review them so and that's it on how we successfully added a new evm chain to wallet core so if you have any question feel free to drop it in the comment section of this video we follow through we also have follow-up articles and also make sure you join us uh you follow us on our all and make sure you follow us on our all social media and make sure you follow us on all our social media platforms and also join our telegram uh trust developers channel all right so that's it for now i'll see you some other time bye for now